You're definitely a powerhouse on social media. You have more than 32,000 followers on Instagram. Like you said, you're on Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. Let's get into the details. How are you leveraging social media? What's your strategy? So what I like to do is post videos talking about important things that I've heard clients ask me. Um, every time I get a client call, if they've been seriously injured, they have a number of questions and I usually write those down and do videos because over the years, those questions have just been repeated and repeated. And I feel like people don't always know the answer to those you know, very important questions. So I started filming videos um, on my iPhone, actually, just posting to social media, talking about those topics, just quick videos. And I realized soon that that was generating business for me. So are you targeting potential clients on social media? Are you targeting other attorneys? So I'm specifically targeting uh, leads, no attorneys, because I want all my cases direct because we are a smaller firm. So I, I target people that have certain interests and in my area or people who've been in accidents and injuries, have injuries. Tell us a little bit about how you're doing that, because I think that can be the challenge, especially when starting out on social media. So how are you targeting your ideal client? So one really interesting thing about Facebook and Instagram in particular is you can create an ad um, very targeted with an audience in their settings. You can choose the age range, you can choose male or female, and you can actually choose interest and down to the exact location of their zip code. So if you're making a video about um, babies who were born with birth defects, for example, you can target nearby hospitals or people who would live in that area just to women anywhere in the age range of the women who would typically have children and interest. You can put in um, mothering, you can put in baby products, things that they would be searching and actually send that ad to that group of people. So then you are leveraging the organic with some paid ads, it sounds like? So you can do this on your post uh, if you boost your own post on Instagram. So that's really cheap to do. Um, so I have done that. You just take your own video and then target it towards that specific audience. And, and you probably get for $100 probably a thousand views a, a video. Wow. So I, I would assume that would increase your followers and then thus ultimately your new clients. Are you sending yes. those prospects through any kind of funnel? Are you asking them, what's the call to action? Are you asking them to send you a DM, reach out? So for me, generally, I like to add the send message button in my boosted post rather than the call now or add your email. I just want them to quickly message me on whatever device they're on since 99% of them, I, I believe, are on mobile devices. And when they're looking at our ads, that's what we've seen. So I just say send message here and they automatically, it goes to my DMs, to my Facebook messenger, and I get a copy to my email address. So are you boosting the most popular posts? Are you boosting all posts? So what's interesting about Instagram and Facebook is they kind of tell you what post works best. And then they suggest posts you should boost based on the performance they had just naturally when you posted them. So Instagram will tell me this post performed 90% better than all of your other posts. And I'll decide to boost that particular post and just track the way they're performing with the audiences you set. And then you can save those audiences and just keep reboosting it so that ads you start playing from when you started your firm can continue playing even now. And they are still playing now.